Hello! Welcome back to Jeff Finnegan's Wake. I'm Jeff. I'm reading to you Finnegan's Wake, a book by James Joyce, published 39, fully, heavily, full of symbolism and, 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 and dream logic, and it's just, it, it reads as gibberish. It scans as gibberish. I'm 32 pages into it, or under page 32 today, because I'm reading a page a day, one page, one day, till this is done. Um, and I am on page 32, so, you know, a, a decent <laughs> amount. Oh, I just opened the first page, there's a dead bug, squished dead bug in there. Oof. Well, we'll leave that for posterity. Um, I still don't know what the fuck's going on in this book, Jeff Finnegan's Wake. Finnegan's Wake, James Joyce. I've never read Ulysses either. I gotta imagine it's a bit more. I mean, this is just... I mean, we're talking about this, so... Good on you, Jim Joy! <sighs> Man. Anyway. Page 32. On the road? And shall Nohomaya be our place like? Yeah, Malaki, our king ca kingable Khan? We shall perhaps not so soon see. Pink pox that bail for seeks a silence, where come scepters with the centaurs stay. Bear in mind, son of Homak, Hakma. If so be you have Methug in your Midas, this man is mountain, and unto changeth doth one ascend. Heave we aside the fallacy, as punical as Finnegan, that it was not the king, king self, but his inseparable sisters, uncontrollable night talkers, Skertshahad the Donizahed, who afterwards... When the robbers shot up the socialites, came down into the world as amusers, or were staged by Madame Sudlow as Rosa and Lily Miskinguet in the pantaline that two pits patronosed, Melodorus and Galathy. The great fact emerges that after that historic date, all holographs so far exhumed, initialed by Harumphery bear the sigla HCE, and while he was only and long and always good Duke Umfri, for the hunger lean saplings of Localizad and Chimbers to his cronies, it was equally certainly a pleasant turn of the populace, which gave him a sense of those normative letters the nickname Here Comes Everybody. And imposing everybody he always indeed looked, constantly the same as and equal to himself, and magnificently well worthy of any and all such universalization, every time he continually surveyed amid vociferatings from in front of accept these few nutties and take off that white hat, relived with stop his grog and put it in the log and loots in his basfoco boots, from good start to happy finish, the truly Catholic assemblage gathered together in that king's treat house of satin austral-like above floats and footlights from their ass ball belts and ox gangs unanimously to clapaud the inspiration of his lifetime and the hits of their careers. Mr. Wallenstein Washington Semper Kelly's immigrant tourers in a command performance by special request with the courteous permission for pious purposes the home droned and enlivened performance of the problem passion play of the military military running strong since creation a royal divorce then near the approach toward the summit of its climax, with ambitious interval band selections from the Bow Girl and the Lily, all horsery show, command knights, from a visceral bruth, his basil owner is sealed. And that is the end of page 32 of Finnegan's Wake. <laughs> it's a funny joke, Mr. Joyce. I will catch up with uh, you groovy cats and kittens later. Mwah! Good night.